Today we're going to show you how to set the valve lash on your Briggs & Stratton LO206 engine. Follow along. The first thing you're going to want to do is take the spark plug out. I'm going to use an impact just for speed for our video. And then remove the valve cover. You'll notice that the breather line fitting is in the way of this bolt so we're going to go ahead and twist it out of the way okay and our valve cover is going to come off like that the gasket goes with it and here's the working parts of the upper end of the valve train of our LO206 engine this is your rocker adjuster nuts. These are your rockers. You see the valve springs here on top with the retainers and keepers underneath. We'll go ahead and pull through the four stroke cycle. We're on top dead center of the compression stroke currently. That's where the ignition would fire to make the engine run. I'm gonna pull this engine over slowly. You'll see that the exhaust valve will be the first one to open. You see that rocker dropping, so the valve is dropping it back up and then the intake starts to open as the exhaust is still closing so there's a little bit of overlap in there and now you see the exhaust opening again a second time as the intake is closing that is the compression release on your 206 engine it makes it easier to start and we'll know we're at top dead center of the compression stroke right after that compression release and the engine gets a little bit tighter as the piston gets to top dead center. Your crankshaft should end up right about here with the keyway. If you have your clutch on it, you can paint a little mark right where the keyway is to see that easier if the engine is still on the cart. So we'll check to make sure, yes, we've got plenty of lash. Lash is nothing more than the distance between the bottom side of this rocker and the top of the valve stem. And we measure that with a pair of feelers gauges. This set of feelers gauges you can get just most any good auto parts store. And you can set this lash wherever you feel like it. We roll the cams in uh, to see what's going to perform best for the specific track. Uh, longer length straightaways, uh, shorter more technical courses, or maybe a long restrictor slide would take a, a different valve lash setting than an adult class. For this engine we're going to go ahead and set the valve lash So that that four thousandths feelers gauge just slides in and out smoothly. Now to change that, we break loose this lock nut, and you can use a five eighths box end wrench to turn this guy. And you can see we have much more lash in there now. Now when I'm setting the valve lash, the way I do it, there's many ways you can do whatever's consistent and easiest for you is I'll run these down to where it's snug on the feelers gauge size that I want to use and then I'll go just a hair more because when you tighten this jam nut it'll create slightly more valve lash so if we were to set it at a loose four thousandths when I tighten this down it could be five and a half or six thousandths that would be a difference in performance And you'll see we're back to a snug 4 thousandths. On the exhaust, I've already got set up that I want to do it 2 thousandths. And we're a little bit tight on that one. I'm going to go ahead and back that off. Again, we loosen the jam nut. Turn that guy loose. I set my 2 thousandths feelers gauge in. Run it down to where it's snug. And I go just a hair more. We'll snug this guy up. And that's still a fairly tight two thousandths. But that's close enough for me. I can push that two thousandths gauge in and out. And that's pretty flimsy. Figure how thick that is. So that's pretty close. If you were to set your valves at a zero lash, a lot of builders I know like to do that. 
the easiest way to do that is set this down to where it just touches against the end of the valve tip and then check the push rods down here that they can turn in your fingers and without a whole lot of resistance so that's pretty much it we'll go ahead and double check our work because sometimes people get confused on where to set that at top dead center since the piston is at top dead center twice in a four stroke once in that overlap cycle and once on the compression cycle so as we start pulling this over we'll see the exhaust open first then the intake as the exhaust closes now we'll see our exhaust compression release and we're back to top dead center for the second time note again where your crankshaft is and we still have valve lash on both sides we're ready to put the valve cover back on and go race thank you for watching our videos be sure to like and subscribe to our facebook page and if you have any questions or need anything for your Briggs & Stratton LO206 engine, please be sure to call us at Carlson Motorsports, 765-339-4407.